So I've got a problem. So I've got a problem and we need to solve it. When I rented the bike in Chandigarh, it's about a thousand kilometers from here. I had certain plans to do the ride, come up over here and then uh, ride it back. The whole plan has changed. I have to fly back out of Leh. So how am I gonna get the bike back to Chandigarh? I'm not riding three days all the way south just to bring the back bike on time. I'm gonna stay over here, ride the extra days and figure a way to get the bike somehow over there. We're gonna go around today. Uh, between uh, different options to check or maybe you can send the bike maybe to give somebody money to actually ride the bike to bring it down instead of me riding it down so today we're going to be walking around running around figuring how to solve this i think we'll be okay <laughs> downtown lay it's uh they're preparing for a near holiday preparing for a holiday next few days and putting up the traditional flags. How pretty it is over here. Look at that. The mountains over there in the background. <laughs> This is in Ladakh, the, the area of Ladakh, northern part of India. And they also have a mosque. It's uh, the culture, the, the religion over here is uh, Muslim and Buddhism, right? And uh, mixing both and living in, in peace, which is very nice, actually. Dried apricots. How much does below this? 600, 600, 600, 400. Furry dogs from the winter didn't shed yet. Talk about old school, right? very common over here that you can do there's are like moving companies or transport companies that they uh, wrap up the bike for you not really crate I'll show you some pictures what it looks like how uh, Moshe created how they created his bike and I'm uh, we've been trying to organize a way to send my bike uh, to Chandigarh because I'm gonna be flying out of here connecting to Delhi and from there back uh, to work I'll show you also how uh, we we drop we're gonna drop off this bike and coordinate it. Everything is extremely flexible, extremely doable over here. The, if there's a will, there's a way, and it's everything is very doable in India. You don't see too many V twins over here. Every every here is a single. And whenever he stops with the sports store, everybody likes to watch it. The V twin. We're back in Royal Enfield because we're going to try and organize uh, delivery, transport. One of their trucks goes back and forth from uh, pretty much from Ley to down south. So we're gonna, with all the supplies that they have, gonna throw the bike on there. And then they're gonna deliver it to where I rented the bike. 
So it seems like problem solved. We'll know very soon what the quote is. Made it to Hemis uh, Monastery, the biggest one in Leh. The biggest monastery in Leh, in Ladakh. No, Ladakh. In Leh or Ladakh, one of them. In, La in Leh. I'm gonna walk around, show you a little bit. It was actually a beautiful ride over here. The road was narrow, but no traffic, and we were side by side. That was lots of fun. photographs and turn this off.
guys, I'm, uh, we're, we solved the problem. They did not have a, like a big, a big truck. There, we solved the challenge. We overcame the challenge. It's not, uh, they didn't have a, a big uh, truck that we can share with others. So we had to take a private uh, car, taxi, transport. So tomorrow early in the morning, we'll be taking the bike. Problem solved, everything can be done over here. No problem, it's gonna cost about $400, but it's well worth it. I just don't have time to ride it or the, or the energy to ride uh, back those 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles, three days. I have a flight out of here. So let me do a walk around. I'll show you how this great bike served me unbelievably for the last 1,000 miles. Really, really impressed with uh, the capability. First of all, the comfort of the bike. The bike was extremely comfortable. The power is lacking, but there is no need for more power because the average speed over here on their roads is 50 miles per hour. So the bike doesn't even need that. And what's great about it is it's, it's gearing. It's gearing is very, very, sh very low. And the low end torque is incredible incredible so when you're up in the mountains going behind trucks or going through a uh, difficult terrain area because roads are really shitty as you've seen over here all you need to do you stay in first gear and you're going about two three miles an hour and the bike doesn't stall on you it just just keeps chugging chugging along suspension on it as simple as it is Eats up the bumps over here. Great, it never bottomed out. Braking is sufficient, is good. Well, I can't, I can't even say anything bad about it. It's just a reliable machine. Just serves the purpose of here in the, the high altitudes in the Himalayas. We were up at 17,000 feet. Obviously it was less, uh, has less, had less power because it was uh, less oxygen, but it just worked. It just chugged. It was, it was really impressive. And also uh, the fuel fuel economy, like fuel consumption of this thing is amazing. And I think we started at one point where the Harley had to, and every other car had to uh, fill up or take extra gas tanks, just like you see over here. Jugs, the Himalayan, once we refilled at Manali, the next time we, we refilled was over here in Ladakh, in Leh. The fuel efficiency, the fuel economy of this bike, it's amazing, really. Learned a lot about this bike. I had this bike in the States for about a year and I never put it through the test that I did over here. Really, really impressed with uh, this Royal Enfield. Like it's so suit and fit for this environment. So we're gonna be loading it tomorrow morning. Good morning, day number, who knows? The transport is here. Relatively early, 5.40 in the, in the morning. Like I told you before, everybody's asleep at this hour. Blow the bike, send it off, and rent another one today. And it's, today it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be the Scrambler 411. So we, we had, we couldn't load the bike over there. So we, we came to a local ramp a half a mile away. But I was uh, riding in my flip-flops. I just got out of bed, literally. Gonna ride the bike on. Let's go, Sandy. <laughs> got grass and everything. It's <laughs> cool. We're going from the to the hotel now because uh, we this have after load. cutting smoking. <laughs> <laughs> we had to uh, load the bike somewhere else to get that wrap. Got some grass. <laughs> <laughs> 